Look at this backpack right here scratching the fans and don't tell me that you're not excited for this upcoming game. No, I'm just joking but this is little details like these which makes a game come to life and Rooted, which is the game's name, wants to be exactly that and I actually like what I'm seeing, not gonna lie. I'm skeptical of any survival game as always but this one has a great theme behind it so we'll see. This is a new open world survival action game where little details and ambitious gameplay features creates a free roaming world that feels alive and full of things to do, with an alpha that's coming soon to Steam as well. The developers of Rooted gave me some exclusive details on the game, as well as having new gameplay clips to share, so without further ado, let's get into it. But wait, did you know that 72% of you watching this video right now are not subscribed to my channel? That's a whole lot of people. So don't miss out on promising new games and subscribe now. Okay, so for those of you who didn't know, Rooted is a single player co-op and PvP post-apocalyptic survival game near the year 2100. You are one of the few survivors with other players in a destroyed mega city and its surroundings. You must progress and adapt through the ruins of the past civilization that collapsed due to global bacteriological warfare. You now must live in this world full of dangers, both of NPCs, including factions, bandits, and secret enemies not yet revealed, to online players, which can team up together or live in this massive world alone and try to survive. With a highly successful Kickstarter campaign, Rooted now aims to create a truly in-depth survival game with what you expect of the survival genre. Imagine yourself surviving this in real life, this is what Rooted is all about, it is said. Building yourself your little home, creating weapons from scratch or finding some, surviving the harsh weather, fighting other inhabitants of this world, and trying to find what the factions are hiding in their huge base. Animals can be as helpful as dangerous in this world as well, and you will meet other humans too, who also try to make their way to a better life. Some foes may be stronger than you thought and will be made of steel or made of flesh. Thanks to developers for giving me these details, it's been said the world of Rooted has its map with over 55 km square of surface area above sea level, which is massive. Add to that the verticality with the buildings and floors of the different buildings as well as underground parts. The playing field is said to be truly vast, thanks again to the successful founding that gives them this opportunity. They also plan to make the underworld part playable later, opening up the map even more. In terms of the environment, they put a lot of emphasis on giving life and a backstory to all points of interest in the world. They're very proud of the work that they are achieving as we speak, making each little location a truly interesting place to explore, where you can discover slash feel that things happened 20 years ago, it is said. The animations, the gameplay features, the graphics, the lightning, everything has been enhanced so it doesn't feel like a cheap indie game but some pretty special. For several months now, they prototyped the gameplay and more generally all the main features, allowing them to manage multiplayer, the open world, and the massive quantity of items living in the world itself. Items which you can pick up and throw at people, for example, or put in your backpack. They are also evolving with the technologies of Unreal Engine 5 and are using the engine to its best. It is very powerful and gives a lot of life to Rooted. It's also exciting for them to be able to follow the advancements of the engine while developing the game. This allows them to take the features at their inception and follow their evolution. And as for gameplay features, they recently worked on the overall world, the characters, and the puzzle part of the game. They thought it was essential in a post-apocalyptic world to find ways to enter places that were initially inaccessible, using objects to access certain places, unlocking access, and etc. Players will also be able to salvage objects and throw them at other players. The idea is not yet to test combat but just to add a little fun during the alpha on Steam. You'll need to settle and build a house or an outpost in villages or in the city, securing houses, offices, or even entire floors in a building to know if the place is safe. If it is, well you can build your little safe house there. Barricades, partitions, traps, you'll need to craft something to protect yourself in this world. The travel distances can be long as well as it is a massive world. Getting to build a secondary outpost is always a plus because some enemies will be roaming around. You will craft tools to improve your life conditions, facilitate transportation, eat, protect, and heal yourself, just as other survival games like this. Also, salvaging is a major key component in Rooted. You can recover, repair, and use a lot of items from the past civilization, whether they are mechanical, electronical, or clothing. You can recover more or less rare parts depending on the condition of the objects that you are dismantling. The more you salvage, the more likely you will learn how to 
reassemble them. Later on you'll be able to upgrade your camp with your newly learned items to make your survivor's life easier. From the forest to cities downtown, it is said to be a world that evolves with your actions because you will gain access to new areas, new items, and new crafting options over time if you progress enough and if you find new areas. For more on Rooted, make sure you guys like the video right now and of course subscribe to stay tuned. <laughs>